All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you poop, with my very first beer review here on top of my apartment roof in lovely Yokosuka, Japan. So for uh, my very first beer review, I decided to pick uh, three beers that are local to uh, where I live out here in, like I said, lovely Yokosuka, Japan. So um, we'll do like a quick little taste test and I'll tell you how they fare. So see you in the next bit. All right, so the first beer up is Memorial Ship Mikasa Z Flag Beer or Zulu Flag Beer. It's just, it just looks great. I have no idea what type of beer it is. It could be a, an ale, a lager, I'm not sure. It just, that's all I can read. So uh, we'll let you guys have a look at the label, pop the top, and uh, we'll see how she fares. So, I'm not sure how well this is gonna look in the capture. And if you guys need more time, for label reading and such, uh, feel free to pause the video. And then we're gonna look at the top. It says Iwate Kura Beer, Kuda. So it's like Iwate style, I guess. Interesting. So, got my little pop topper here. So, let's do it. There we go. All right, come by. Ooh, it's supposed to be a dark beer. This reminds me of like a, it's kind of like a stout or a, a port, but uh, it's a bit lighter. So it's just kind of like a, a light dark beer. It's not bad. Yeah. And actually, truth be told, I'm not really much of a dark beer fan. I know it's gonna upset you guys, but I prefer um, on the lighter side. But this is actually pretty good. So if I were to drink dark beer, this one would be my choice. All right, so the next one up is Lokoska beer. Lokoska beer, I guess. So um, this one looks pretty cool. It says fine malt, select hops, all malt traditional ale beer. So I'm guessing this is somewhere in like IPA, Indian Pale Ale territory. That's my guess. So just like with the last one, we're gonna zoom in on the label, look at the top, pop the top, and have ourselves a little swiggy to swig. And as always, if you guys need more time reading and such, feel free to pause the video. Here's the top. So, let's uh, pop her open and see how she fares. There we are. All right, come by. Hmm, that's, that's interesting. It's got a very unique, kind of almost grassy Type, but not quite overly so. It's a very organic tasting, actually. So it reminds me of like your standard uh, pale ale affair, but uh, it's got kind of like a, a unique earthiness to it. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Definitely recommend it. All right, guys, I saved the best for last. And I don't even need the pop topper for this one. It's got its own, see? So, um, this is Sarashima Premium Beer, and out there is Sarashima, or Monkey Island, is what it translates to. And uh, this is beer you can only get exclusively um, either in Yokosuka or on Sarashima itself. So you can get these lovely beers at the Yokosuka Port Market, which I highly recommend you visit if you're in the Yokosuka area. So anyway, um, this is Sarashima Premium Beer. Um, doesn't really say anything else that I can read on it. It's got its own built-in pop topper. Excuse me. And uh, I'll let you guys have a little look at the label as always, and uh, we'll move on from there. And as always, if you guys need more time to read, feel free to pause the video. All right, here's the top. It says, uh, selected malts and hops specially brewed. 
pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. So, lovely Sarashima, its namesake in the background, and motorcyclists passing through. Let's pop the top, and see how she fares. Oh, nice. Come by. another dark beer. This one has uh, more of a traditional um, dark beer taste. So uh, if you guys are a fan of, you know, the darker beers like, you know, stouts and the ports and things like that, um, I think you guys will get a kick out of this one. And it's got a bit of a, actually, hold on. I'm, actually, it's, it tastes more like an IPA on the back end. But it's thick. It's thicker, like a dark beer. That's interesting. It's interesting take. So, um, yeah, another uh, another high recommendation on the on the list there. So, if you guys are in the Akoska area, definitely recommend checking these beers out. So, yeah, this is the Andy San. Sign up for now. Thinking you guys boop, for tuning in to my first ever beer review and uh, for tuning into my other stuff. And if you guys are interested in drinking the beers that I've shown in this video, uh, and if you're in the Yokosuka area, check out Yokosuka Port Market. They have these kinds of beers and more. But I do have to say, um, these are kind of, uh, <laughs> kind of pricey since they're local and stuff. So um, they range anywhere between 550 to up to uh, 600 yen a, a, a bottle. So that's about five to six dollars American. But at the time of this recording, the exchange rate's pretty good, so it's probably more in the range of like a four or five dollars American. So there you go. Um, but I definitely recommend checking them out if you're in the area. They make great omiyage or like souvenirs for friends and things like that. And uh, you can get them at Yokosuka Port Market and other places. So once again, thanks for tuning into this video, watching my other stuff. And also gotta thank you guys for liking the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, send a few friends to the party. And hey, as always, We'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.